A question I get asked frequently is, what is it like working with a service dog? Truthfully, working with a service dog hasn't been all quite different from working without one. Arrow is there to make sure that I can work to the best of my ability. He's not there to hinder me, he's there to help me. The biggest challenge I found is trying to keep him out of the way of customers. When we're working out on the floor, Arrow is either kept in front of me or is tucked in a corner that is near me but out of the way of customers. When working positions such as at the register, Arrow is kept in a cubby that is under my register so that he is out of the way of other associates. When Arrow alerts or needs a task, we are able to go to an area that is out of the way of customers. All of my managers and coworkers are so respectful of having the service dogs there with us. I am so grateful that I work for a company that is so accommodating. They've never seen me any different as any other coworker. I'm so thankful that I have a job that I absolutely love and can have my partner by my side. Day. I can't wait to see my dog. Oh wait, she's a service dog. She has to come with me. Please don't, please don't do that. She's a service dog. Come This is one of the reasons I love using a guide dog instead of a white cane. O'Hara is trained to navigate around people or through crowds of people. She finds the way for me. With a cane, I would be hitting people's feet and they would be dodging me. Here we are just walking through one of our local malls, trying to avoid people as much as possible as this was filmed during COVID times. I trained her to look up at me instead of looking at people that are talking to her or trying to pet her. Here is her finding the door for me. Here we are going to the curb, which I will feel with my foot. And she's going to bring me to the parking lot to find the car. Hey, so you have the directions, right? Because I can pull them up on my phone if you'd like. Oh, you got it? Perfect. Thank you. Best driver. Thanks a lot. 
You have to start respecting service dog handlers and their dogs. If you see a working dog, please don't try to call it over, pet it, make kissy noises, or call either of us baby names. I think my dog is cute too, but you're a grown adult and you are fully capable of ignoring us. My dog is working. She has the ability to save my life and protect me from harm, and you're getting in the way of that. Don't bring your untrained dog into public spaces where it can attack my service animal. If you're a business owner, you're allowed to ask what task my dog provides, but you're not allowed to ask about my disability or discriminate against me based on it. Respect us. Apollo, check. Apollo, check. Good boy. Apollo, check. So this is Benjamin, and he actually has a very special job. Benjamin is a seeing eye dog. Because of his job, we do a little bit different of a haircut than what a normal golden retriever would get. Benjamin is on a rotating pre-booked schedule, so he comes to us once every four weeks. Every other appointment, he actually gets a full haircut, while the other ones, he just gets a bath and a good de-shed treatment. Because of Benjamin's job, his mom likes us to trim him in a nice tight outline trim. This ensures that when he's going out in public, he's staying as clean as possible and isn't bringing anything in like grass clippings or leaves. Once we get Benjamin's pants trimmed, I go ahead and start trimming his nails. And then when that's finished, I like to thin around the area where his harness lays. He wears a harness a lot during the day, so we like to keep this area nice and short. Otherwise, it tends to get matted up and tangled. If you see a service dog out in public, please do not approach them or try to distract them in any way. They are busy doing their job, and now he's ready to go back to his. Uh, very good. Good job. Yummy, yummy. Thank you. Yeah, Don't panic! No, I am because I'm gonna lose my job! Our task video for today is Kismet's crowd control tasks. This one is called Orbit. It's hard to get in context because I use it in a crowd. This keeps people from getting too close to me and like bumping into me, which is something that really triggers my sensory overload. This task is called Shadow. This one is my favorite. I use it all the time. I use it in grocery store lines and things like that. One of the biggest things for my sensory overload is when people come up right behind me and I can kind of just feel their presence there, you know? Nobody likes that, but it's really a trigger for my uh, sensory overload. So what this task does is he will lay between my legs and then when I walk, he will walk with me and then automatically lay back down. And what it does is his body length behind me prevents people from getting too close and it's really just a great task. I have had people bump into him with their shopping carts and not even notice him, so sometimes it doesn't work and I have to tell people, hey, my dog is here, but it is a really, really helpful task. That's exactly how I feel. Oh. That's exactly how I feel. Again. That's Woo. exactly how I feel. Come here. We're not going that way. Leave it. 
Oh. Yep. That's what I expected. Good girl. Yes. Holy shit. Come here. A month after we had been paired, my mom fell. As a service dog, I am trained to check if she is conscious first then respond accordingly. Since it was her first fall with me I thought to myself okay 4 minutes go time you have trained your whole life for this. This is your time to shine. Instead of checking on her first I panicked, stared at her, then ran and got her bra and brought it to her. She was so mad. But to be honest I had assessed the situation and in my professional opinion thought to myself damn bitch you require way more support than I alone can give you right now. My service dog. There's another service dog over there. I know it's a service dog because it's not even barking, not even knowledging. This is what a service dog should be like. Right fish? Yeah. Ready? Okay. Can I pet her? Uh -huh. Hi. Come here. Hello. Allie. Oh, Allie, don't spread your well. Uh uh, calm down. Calm down. Oh. You gotta give her your belly, child. I love this so much. Give her your belly. Give her your belly. There you go. You're so happy, Allie. Should we smile together? No, I just wanna lay down. You're terrible. You're terrible. Allie, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Allie, sit. Sit down. Thank you, baby. Hey, everyone. So today I decided to clean my bathroom because it was gross. And while I was doing that, Elliot was chilling and being a good boy when I noticed that I wasn't feeling well and Elliot agreed. So he started a learning and I decided to grab my camera so you guys can see. He became more and more persistent um, with his alerts and that's when I decided to sit on the floor so that he could perform deep pressure therapy, which is one of his tasks he does to help lower my heart rate. Um, when he was doing that, he kept alerting and I was monitoring my heart rate until it went down into a safe enough level when he got lots of cuddles and then we high-fived. <laughs> well, here's to the hearts that you're gonna break. Here's to the lives that you're gonna change. Here's to the infinite possible ways to love you. I want you to have it. Here's to the good times we're gonna have. You don't need money, got a free pass. Here's to the fact that I'll be sad without you. You to have it all. Oh, I want you to have it. Okay, forward. Go, go, go. Turn. Okay, forward. Stand. Heel. Yo. Sit. Penguin. Penguin. Yes. Hold. Go throw it away. That's a chair. That is a chair. <laughs> Hold. Go throw it away. Yay. Please do not bring your pets into non-pet friendly places. My service dog cost over $6,000. I can't afford another one. And if your untrained pet attacks my service dog, I may no longer have my lifeline that I need every day. Have a service dog, oh, is he truly task trained? Do you have a disability that he needs to mitigate? Is he always by your side when you go out, people stare. But when you really need him, he is always- Mother, you are dying. You must check yourself. Oh wait, I heard a noise. Must point. Are you still dying? I think I need to. I think I need to alert. Wait, wait, I smell a smell. Must investigate. I smell it over here. What is the smell? 
Oh, wait, I had a job to do. Mother, you are still dying. <laughs> Check it. Check it now. Do it.